I'm out here in Towson for Black Lives Matter rally. And there's more white people than black people out here. And there should be more black people than white people because black people are the ones that get messed around out here in Baltimore County. You got Baltimore City, their police department is over here. All right, and this is a peaceful, politeful protest. Back in 2011, I put a toilet up here exposing this racism and corruption that they're talking about now. I had put Schellenberg on it, the judges, the lawyers, and the politicians that get this going. Now you want to march about it. Should have been did something about it. You got a lot of Baltimore County Police Departments got card-carrying members of the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, sure do. That's why y'all put chokeholds on people. You traded them chokeholds for lynching, and we still dying under y'all's knees. Y'all shot that man out there in Towson because he had a knife. Y'all could have tased him. Y'all emptied y'all's guns like y'all was having target practice. Yeah. Mike, check! We don't want no misunderstandings about who you are and what you're capable of. Black lives don't matter to you at all. Like I said, this Baltimore County, and matter of fact, I can read all of them as a matter of fact. Like I said, this Baltimore County Police Department right there. You go to Commissioner Hyatt, I mean Chief Hyatt, she'll tell you the same thing. Now up here is Baltimore County Sheriff's Department. And these gentlemen, when I put that toilet up here, got real crazy. The one with his hand on his mouth. Grabbed me by my arm, snatched me off the property, talk about don't do this, don't do that. Like when I say you got car carrying members of the Ku Klux Klan, yeah, yeah, you do. You talk about racist behavior, yes, they are. Remember me? Remember when I put that toilet out here? Remember me? I'm going to put another one out here just for you. Yeah, yeah. It's going to have your face on it. It's going to have a constitution on it. It's a freedom of assembly. It's about potty training politicians and police officers, too. Yeah. Your, your face is like the new face of Bull Connors, and that ain't no bullshit. And if anybody know about Bull Connors, that's about racism. Yeah. See, I say it in front of you. I ain't going to do it behind you in, your, in, the, in, the, in the dark. We're going to do it in front of everybody so they can see it. Y'all kidnapped me about that toilet. Like I said, it's starting to line up. You got your spectators over here. You got your guards over there. And you got your watchful eye over here and the media up there. You should have a lot more black people out here because that's who's is affecting. But you putting white people in front of it, man, I would take that. Use that white privilege for our black plight. This ain't what the media gonna show you. You feel me? What station are you with, sir? What's that? What station are you with? Uh, WBFF. WBFF? Yeah. Fox 45? Mm -hmm. All right. Tell Rachel Aragon and them to get up, up that information that I gave them. We talking about Black Lives Matter. They got plenty of evidence about this, so we wouldn't even be here doing this. Okay. I'm gonna start shutting Fox down, and y'all know how I am. And this is the makeup of the crowd, and this is the leader of the pack. Tell them why you're here. I'm here to change the world because we know that this is such a the, a wrong happened that it was not right. And you know that the whole entire world is against it. And the whole world is fighting for justice. And it's not just that we need justice for him, we need justice for everybody. We need to be we need to all be treated as one and be equal together. And we can't just have this, oh, the blacks living in the rich, the the blacks and uh and different, all these different minorities living in like these harsher times than these whites. We need to all live as one, all have the equal opportunities to go to college, all have the equal opportunities to get educated and have the same exact you, you, you chances know, in life. You doing the same thing that Martin Luther King did, you know that? The same fight that y'all fighting, we fought for when I was your age. I'm 60 years old, you feel me? So you following the footsteps of kings, you understand that? Y'all following the footsteps of kings. You might be Fred Hampton, you might be Angela Davis, you feel me? You got to take your moment and seize it. You feel me? Take it more than just what it's worth. You see how the media's watching you? Show them, give them something to see. You feel me? You see the colors of the people here? This, this is more people of white privilege that's using their white bodies to stand up for our black plight. You know what I'm saying? 
because we can't afford to come here because we scared to come out Towson. You know what I'm saying? We scared to come out Towson. And you know what I'm talking about. I ain't scared of Towson. Towson's scared of me. Mike Jack! That's how I act when I come around town. Ask Fox 45. Ask WJZ. Start controlling the narrative. Take control of the narrative. Make your voices heard. You understand? That's right. Hey, Andrew Davis is a right. professor. I want to start yeah. with uh, thank everybody for coming out here today. And um, just coming out to the board. He's my school teacher, man. And All right. I got about you. Five more minutes, and then we're gonna get started with the whole entire protest. And um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be about five more minutes just to let everyone roll in and kind of just group up. This is what I put that toilet in Towson for, because it was about white privilege. It was about how you, dim this, how you demonize black people. That toilet represents your community. We traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and they trade us off in that courthouse under Scott Schellenberger's administration for the last 20 years. Ain't nobody held him accountable. We talking about Bull Connors, the new face of old Jim Crow is right here. But these are the ones that are standing up against it. You feel me? This is the new face of activism in 2020. I'm just Jimmy the Cricket. I'm just here to make sure I get heard. I'm gonna take what belongs to me. Y'all owe me property. Y'all owe me $2.6 million in lost wages. You owe me 13 storyboards. You owe me movies. Until I get my movies back, I'm gonna make you the movie. Baltimore, rewired, live in living color. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Social media for social change. And watch how they do this. You feel me? Watch how we do this. See WBAL up there in the sky? Black lives matter. All lives matter. Just happen to be black today. I got a vested interest in this. I got a vested interest in this. They kidnapped me from my family. They stole me in 2011 and held me for 86 days for a crime I didn't commit. Because I put a toilet in front of the courthouse. You seen the old white man. You ain't seen him opening their mouth now. Because the camera worked for me just like it worked for you. Y'all claim that I was a terrorist? Dog, I'm going to live up to your expectations. I'm going to live up to your expectations. Call the police. Call Commissioner Davis. Call Chief Hyatt. WJG is a witness. WJG, WJZ just witnessed Commissioner, no, Johnny Oleski's chief of staff. Matter! 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 If anyone needs some waters, there's some waters up here for everyone can have them. Um, it seems like we've gained a lot more. Thank you guys for all coming out here today. And we are going to stand for our right to protest. And we will show people that change needs to be done. Yeah, stand up on the stand up, stand up top, stand up top. Take the high ground. When I say, tell me what we want, you say just tell me what we want. Justice. 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 Justice. Economy drop, 
and so much more. We need your help. Each and every one of you guys should be so proud for standing up and fighting for what matters. This has been going on for so long and it needs to stop. In the past week alone, we have managed to reopen the case of Breonna Taylor. Yeah! Yeah! We have managed to charge the police officers who were, who were involved in the death of George Floyd. Yeah! And this is just from two weeks of protesting. We can do so much more if we just keep going and don't let the flame die out. Make some noise if y'all here, that's what you're here for. Make some noise if y'all here, that's what y'all here for. Have your voices heard. Go ahead. You are not outraged or pissed off about what has been happening in the past two weeks, months. I don't know what to say. You have not been paying attention. Open your eyes. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Devin Healy. He's the one who made all of this happen, made this possible. Thank you. Um, I was going to say a few words, and then uh, if anyone else would like to speak on anything, they can come up here and um, anyone can speak if they want to. It's been 400 years since the start of slavery, 155 years since freedom, 56 years since Jim Crow. In the Star Spangled Banner, it says land of free, home of brave. But am I really free if I can't walk down the street wearing a hoodie like Trayvon Martin? Am I really free if I can't try to go to the store and buy something and get accused of stealing or using counterfeit bills like George Floyd? Am I really free if I, if I get arrested and I have to worry about if I'm going to make it to the jail or if I'm going to die on the way there, like Freddie Gray? How can I feel free when 13% of the population is, is black, but, but it makes up... Slow down. Calm down. <clears throat> Take your time. How can I feel free when 13% of the population is black and we make up... And we make up 57% of the prison population. Does any of this make you guys feel free? No! Does this make you feel equal? No! Why is it that one in three black Americans go to prison in their lifetime? And most of them are arrested over drugs, but it's, sh but it's shown that whites have whites sell and do just as many drugs as, of, as the minorities. What is wrong with the government with this? Why is it just blacks being arrested and not everyone else? Yeah! Make some noise! Y'all not going to jail! Black culture has always been stolen, but the people who steal it never try to protect it. Why is it that our culture is always being put out there yes, and we are attention. trying to you know, preach our culture, but then it gets stolen by other people? But then when it comes to the point of them protecting it, they stand in the shadows? That's right. If a, if a building was on fire, police would show up and they would spray that building down with water. They wouldn't spray the whole entire block. That's like how it is people who are saying all lives matter. All lives do matter, but right now, black, black lives, lives matter. Yeah. Black yeah. lives is the house that is on fire and needs yeah. to be put out immediately yeah. and needs to be changed. We need yes. change to be made now. We can't have this keep going on. Yes. It's been 400 years since the start of slavery and we're still here. A lot of us still being enslaved by the government. Why, why is it the fact that we, are all, that we have to all stand here like this? This shouldn't, this is so sad. This is honestly, when you look around, this is kind of sad that we have to stand here and protest for equal rights for another person. This is another, we're talking about another person's life. Not someone, 
not something that doesn't, not like an inanimate object. This is a living being, and how can someone be so, just so disgraceful and so prejudiced to murder someone else? This needs to stop now, and for all the voices that are unheard and all the names that are unspoken, this is for them, and we need change to happen right now. We cannot keep waiting. We cannot be abusing. We do not need another 400 years till we have real justice. This needs to change right now. We need equality. And as you stand here and look around, it's not just whites, it's not just black, it's not just Asian. Everyone is standing here together. If you look on the news every single day, it's not just America that is protesting. It's every other, it's, uh, most of the European countries are protesting too. The fight for this cause is not just us. It's not, this fact of the matter is everyone knows this was wrong and it needs to stop now. for change and do it peacefully. We don't need to stoop down to the level of the cops that murdered George. George. We do not need to stoop down to that level. Be peaceful. Show that we have our own voices. Show that we can do it ourselves. Show that we can do change. And we can, we can do this all just with our voices, not violence. Would anybody like to speak at this time? Anybody want to speak? Get your voices heard. Step up. Closed mouth don't get fed. Silence and violence. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. <laughs> All right, guys. I know we're here. I know we're not that big of protests. It doesn't matter at all. The fact that you're out here is the only thing that matters. We are the change. We young people. Obama was elected because of grassroots organizations and movements like this. With you guys out there protesting every day on social media, talking to your family, letting the message out, and fighting, that's how we'll change the world. America wasn't built on violence being the only method of change in our government. We were promised that peaceful protests and civil disobedience is the one way which we will get our power that was given to us in the Bill of Rights. Thank you so much. All right, all right, make some noise. Y'all quiet. <laughs> My name is Jennifer. Thank you for coming out today in support of this issue. Put it, put up My brother Devin put this together. He is 17, he is a student at Delaney. I've never been more proud of anyone in my life except for my mother, who did. has raised him to be an outstanding young man who raised five children and is here today in support of us, in support of everyone, for equal rights, for every life. and. I believe that we can come together and stop racism, to stop the injustices that are happening in our country. Take it back. Vote. Make change. We can do this, but we can't do it without our voices, without our votes. Do it. November is coming. If you're 18 or older, vote. Register and make the change. I trust that everyone here will do that. You made the decision to come out today. Make the decision to, to make the change. Be the change. To vote. It's the only way. Keep protesting peacefully. Remember that there's families, friends, everyone you know. And speak on it. Talk about it. It will make a difference. All you have to do is believe that you can make a difference. Act on it, and it will happen. No matter how long it takes, do not give up. You can do it. Please. Yeah! Hello, everybody. How y'all doing today? Um, my name is Brandon. I would just like to uh, thank whoever organized this event. I just wanted to speak and just let everybody know that I'm glad everybody came here. The reason why everybody came here was for love. 
right? Yeah. It takes one love. It takes one motive. If everybody is on the same time and everybody is on the same schedule, we can get this change that we all deserve. Some people out here do not want us all to eat together. They don't want a black man or a white man or somebody of a Spanish speaking culture to be here with us and we're all eating at the table. They don't want all of us to get money together. They don't want us to live together and be happy together. There are people in this world and people in offices we just want chaos. They just want everyone to be separate. This is 2020. We don't live in 1700s anymore. Yeah! Yeah! This is the time, and this is the perfect time because Corona is slowing down all the businesses, everything. This is the perfect. This is the perfect time for us to revolt. We don't have to revolt with fists and anger and flames and torches. We need to revolt with our minds. We need to spread love and spread facts to each other because a lot of people in hatred came up off of false, ele uh, false allegations. Everything that sparked racism was false. We need to be true with each other. We need to learn about each other. I'm glad everybody is taking the social media. I'm glad everybody is being consistent because consistency is unity. It's the two major things that we can get to burn down this this wretched wasteland we call America. We will get it fixed and we will actually make America great. Not the way Trump made it, but we will make America great. We all need to just sit here, hold our hands together and fight. Fight with your mind. If you want to be the crook, be the crook at his own game. Yeah. And that's all I got to say. Mic check. Anybody want to speak? This is a place where you get your voices heard. Anybody want to speak? You got to come up and be heard. Come on. Closed mouth don't get fed and it don't get heard. My name is Isaac. I'm 16 years old. I was born in Towson. I was born a Jew. I'm one of the few people among my neighbors who know what oppression is like. And yet, my parents have never had to worry when I go on a walk or when I go to the store. This is not right. We have to acknowledge our privilege and we have to do better. We have to do better. And to the cops over there, your job is to serve and protect. That means serve and protect from your own. Even if it is a few bad apples, serve and protect. Yeah! Do better! Do better! Anybody want the mic? Come on. This is your chance to be heard. You want to be heard? Work this. All right. We just push the button. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey, hello. My name is Gina, and I'm 57 years old, and I am white. I am sick and tired of white people thinking that white privilege is bad and not understanding what it is. It is bad. Wait a minute. Let me be clear. It is bad, but no one is telling you you're a bad person. They want you to understand that they don't have the privilege you were born with. Nobody's saying that there are not poor white people. What they are saying is they're still more privileged than a wealthy black man because they can't walk, a black man can't walk through a store without feeling like someone's watching him. Stop that. Don't be afraid. Dig down inside. There's nothing to be afraid of to love and accept another culture. Make America better again. Thank you, can I have a hug? <laughs> Next! Anybody else? Y'all wanna take it over then? Come on. This is your chance to have your voice. This is what a revolution started with. It started with a voice. My name is Angel Rodriguez. I'm a 50 years old Spanish guy and in this beautiful country. Hey guys, can you read this? Can you read? I'm gonna read it for you because this fucking thing makes me really uncomfortable. He says, I can't breathe. You didn't hear it. But guess what? We all hear this. Now they're gonna listen to us. Everybody, please. I can't breathe. I can't, I, can't I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! 
I can't breathe. Please, please listen. Listen to every single voice. Mic check. Can you hear me now? Can somebody else come take over? I'm a black man in America. I've been here for 400 years. My story ain't old. It what created this country. Man, I'm not gonna sit here and blow on people. I want you to talk. I already been in this struggle all my life. It's your turn now. It's your turn to stand up. Cause I'm tired of marching. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of dying. Do you understand? Yeah. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe and I ain't even got no knee on my back. I can't breathe because I'm tired of this. Now it's time for you to take over. Mike Jack! Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter! Thank you, everybody that came today. I am a biracial bear. My mother is a black woman. I just feel like I need to tell this story. Uh, when my mother was a little girl, she was playing on the playground. And this is the first story, uh, the first encounter she ever had with racism was uh, from her best friend's mother who told her that we don't play with, with them. We don't play with, with people who look like that, with brown skin. She told me that story, that moment, had stuck with her for the rest of her life. You guys here understand something. Black lives matter. If there is a response to that, and it has to do with something about property, what is wrong with you? You can't bring somebody's life back can rebuild something. Let's rebuild this community right now. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Anybody else? Mike check! Anybody else? Come on, young man. Somebody want to hold this? I just want to I just want to say something that I heard and what was said is some people here's the difference some people aren't going to be able to relate to this and this is the difference this black guy on television was saying his little kid couldn't enjoy a childhood with a childhood with a take water it. gun because he had to take the water gun from his six-year-old son because he was afraid the police would roll up on him and confuse him with an adult, as an adult, and shoot his little child down so his kid couldn't kill him like the little boy that happened to the other little guy at the park. So a little black child can't even have a water gun because you're liable to get killed by the police as a black child. Being black in America ain't no joke. 400 years, we still choking. We traded lynching for public, what you see today. So any guy that got something to say here, we need this. This is a healing space. This is a place for you to get things out. You feel me? Mike Jack! Oh, no, I'm gonna help you up. I'm on my back. Stay right there with your mom. Stay right there. I just wanted to say that you don't need to be black to see what happened on TV to George Floyd. That's right. The tears just came down watching that. I, I will never understand. I can tell you this is one of my children. This is my youngest son. I don't know what he goes through. 
I can tell you as a parent, I don't want him driving home from work late at night. I'm afraid for him. I don't want him going out late at night with his friends. I worry about him. I, I just don't understand this, and we need a change. We need it now, yes. not later. Yes. We need it now, and we can never forget George Floyd. Never. And I'm proud of all of you guys for being here today. Thank you. This is what democracy look like when you can sit here and heal your own. You know what I'm saying? You got to look in the mirror today. You got to see what you can do to make a change. And you can be that change. Anybody else? It's on you, bro. What you want to do? Come on, get this. Get this. All voices matter. Just, just press the button. So I also want to touch on that police brutality is here today in our communities. Just since 2011, over $5.7 million has been paid out by Baltimore for over 100 brutality lawsuits. And these are just people who got justice. That doesn't, that's not going to change what happened, but there's so many people who don't have the means to even fight Baltimore in this. It's a big problem and it's in our community. It's not just what you see in the news. It happens every day. Yeah! Did you hear her voice? Did you hear her voice? Did you hear what she had to say? Yeah. Who's next? Start your rally, start your march, do what you want to do, bro. Here you go. My life, he getting ready to run out, so I'm gonna let them do what they do. But we make, 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 make a difference. Who? That's on y'all. Whatever. Well, that's why I'm letting them do whatever you want to do. I did drop your stupidest lane over here, just prompt. Okay. We got you. When when you go up there and do your last little whatever, just tell them where you want to march. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell the police not. March where you want to march. Go how you want to go. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you ain't gonna do a march, then you can do whatever you want to do. I'm just letting you know I'm gonna help you. All right? I got you. I'm Jimmy the Cricket. <laughs> Like I said, I came up here and took over. Watch what we do. Youth and movement. And we're going to move together. Mic check. <laughs>